what's the worst thing that ever happened to your butt? I went to bed one night without underwear on and only a nightgown. Mr. Sandman comes and I fall into a sleep that involves a dream. In the dream I'm dressed for an interview and I'm standing near the elevator waiting for it to open. Suddenly in my dream I feel like there is a popsicle stick wrapped around a rubber band inside my underwear. I'm freaking out because I'm about to go into an interview and it feels like this popsicle stick is twirling across my anus and it feels weird, but I can't reach back to stop it because there are people all around. Finally I snap out of this weird dream and the twirling at my butt is still going on. What the heck. I reach down and discover my dachshund has been licking my butt the whole time and it was incorporated into my dream. I have never slept under wearless again. First one to actually make me burst out laughing. I had a bump near my anus the size of my thumb and was really concerned about it. I was at this leadership assessment course and had to ask a battle buddy to look up my butthole to see if it was a tick bite. The females were in the tent next to us so all they heard was, Hey I need a huge favor from you. Can you look up my butthole for a second? He and I became best friends after that. Last December I had a boil on my behind. I tried to ignore it or use all natural remedies like Epsom salt baths and peppermint oil. That didn't work, and it grew and grew, and was so painful. I couldn't sit or stand unless I was walking. I could only really lay down. The last day, two weeks in of trying, in vain, to be a tough guy I couldn't even stand. Okay, I really need to go to the hospital. I found out, after I did go to the hospital and had it drained. My little stunt of ignoring it gave me a staph infection. I really could have caused myself a lot more trouble. I was on antibiotics for a couple weeks. LPT. Do not ignore a boil. You cannot ride them out. The worst thing and, as you may also agree, the best thing to ever happen to my anus occurred on the 3rd of March, 2011. I'd been hospitalized for all the week prior having stumbled headlong into a brain aneurysm and all the fun you may naturally ascribe to such a situation, including a whole new subcategory of emotionally disturbing existential questions for me and trained professionals to attempt passing through in the years to follow. But first I had to poop. A week of heavy medications and work and days of migraines and the last thing left for me to do is prove to the neurologist that I have the power to poop. For I had and all week. Constipated. For sure. I exerted and I sweat but I also wasn't allowed to really push myself. Frustrating, and soon necessitating my first enema. The sweet little Mexican nurse asks me if I'd like to administer it myself. Oh sure I'll give it a try. I disappear into the bathroom, disrobe, step into the handjible shower and try with vigor to stick the nozzle up my pooper. The details now escape me but I recall a lot of lube and little success. I emerged defeated. But the nurse sure doesn't seem to mind. She lays me on my side in the bed, unfolding my fart flaps with expert thumb work, and in goes the dynamite, a slick cold squirt of magic juice deep into me, triggering a reflex I still to this day feel in the back of my throat. But no crap did come. I wasn't sure what would happen next. I imagined them cutting me open and c-sectioning the log jam from my colon. I probably looked worried. The nurse shrugged. Sometimes it just takes two squirts. Oh. Okay cool. Go for it. One more injection. Immediately this feels different than the first go around. Reflexively I roll off the bed and disappear again into the bathroom. I barely have time to sit on the sanitized porcelain throne before it feels as if a clawed hand comes up from the pipes like a snake in a nightmare. It pushes right up my butt, wraps its long fingers around a tennis ball somewhere inside me, and just pulls the whole thing out on its way back to heck. Never before had I experienced such an intertwining of agony and relief. I screamed in mixed emotion, something between an orgasm and a plea for a better god. That's what it felt like. Obviously the bowl was filled with blood and poo and not sports equipment. But I wonder to this day if maybe some of the coins I ate as a small child had finally passed in the exodus. I'll never know but I don't throw up as often now. Your poo needed the coins to pay the ferryman. Was prescribed tramadol and a boatload of other pain meds for a condition I have. Did not poop for about two weeks. Seriously, that stuff turns your bowels to cement. I take two laxatives in the morning, nothing happens. Being the smart person I am, I take six more late afternoon. At some point in the evening my period had also started. 
Flash forward to me sitting on the toilet at 2am crying due to period and constipation pain and feeling like I'm giving birth through my booty hole. On another note I once lost about 2 kilograms, that's about 5 lbs, after having one monster crap. Jumped off a 50 foot cliff in Malta and landed wrong. Really hurt my tailbone. Had to fly home the next day on budget airline with really crappy seats. Longest flight ever. I crap myself once in grade school because as a nerdy guy I was already disliked. I couldn't poop at school and live to tell the tale. I cleaned up, but didn't dispose of the tighty what is because I am a stupid, stupid person. I heard so many OMG who farted that day, but I just kept my head down. Until gym class. It was square dancing day. I had to spin my partner, a girl partner no less, while ignoring the crap smell, and Sarah or whoever being like does anyone smell that? Hey Sarah I'm trying to do s I do here. Why don't you focus on that for 5 freaking seconds okay? This is pushing 25 years ago and I still want to die. I pooped 47 times in 24 hours due to Montezuma's revenge from some bad chorizo in Tijuana. After leaving urgent care to get my meds, my new GF of a few weeks came to pick me up, and that's when it hit. I spent 25 minutes in the back of her car, clenching my butt and yelling drive, go, please hurry at the top of my lungs, and we're still together to this day. I love a happy ending. At 19 while playing in a softball game I farted so hard that I gave myself a hemorrhoid. Had no idea what a blown gasket felt like and was whimpering in tears with every bathroom visit for a week. Don't push out your farts, kids. Oh my god I didn't even know this was possible. R.I.P. butthole. I had this pain for a long while in my butt cheek. It hurt for like a year. Hurt to bend over. Hurt to walk. Hurt to move. But, I mean it was my butt, I'm a young girl at the time, I'm embarrassed, I didn't do anything about it. Finally, when I was crapping blood, I went to a doctor, they couldn't diagnose me but knew something was wrong, so they monitored me via weekly visits for a while. Finally, months later, whatever this thing was surfaced and holy crap, the pain, I ended up going to the aware they cut the hood off which was my skin preventing this thing from coming all the way to the surface. It essentially popped it like a giant zit when they cut that skin off. I felt relief. The uh, staff almost puked from the smell. Finally they understand what it is. An exit shoot fistula. So I go to a specialist. He puts me on a table. A butt table. Where they bend you over then the table lifts so your butt is easy access for the doctors. Turns on a few lights to spotlight my bum so he can see. Then... And this is where a big part of me dies. He opens the door and in walk about a dozen medical students. All very curious about my butt which is lit up like Liza Minnelli in a spotlight and elevated to eye level. 30 years later I'm still not quite over the M.A. butt meant. Played a game in high school where we put a bicycle upside down, spun the pedals until the wheel was going as fast as it could go, and then stopped it by putting our bare asses against the tire. Actual red and black skid marks burned deep into our butt meat. One time I had a hemorrhoid that was the size of the end joint of my pinky. That's not even the worst part, since I had never before had a hemorrhoid. I asked my ex GF to see what was going on back there. I'm sure we both wish to never again remember it. Also believe it or not this had nothing to do with why we eventually broke up. Ah, before reading that last line I assumed she was already your ex. That would have been... something. On a camping trip with friends. One morning my one friend thought it would be funny to bust out his paintball gun and light up the tents while everyone was still asleep in them. Around that time I came out of one of the tents to take a pee. So in addition to the tents, he added me to his target list to just mess around and not really try to hit. Well, not only did he hit me, but right above the left cheek of my butt, from about 20 yards against skin covered only by a pair of boxers, I had a purple, golf ball sized weld that turned into a reddish, cantaloup sized bruise after a couple days, and it hurt like heck to sit on for a few days. Your friend sounds like a dong. I used to run cross country in high school. The thing about cross country is that everyone, both male and female, wears tiny little booty shorts as part of their uniform. Right after a race one time, 
I needed to take off my spikes so I could put my trainers on. I sat down with reckless abandon and sat directly on an ant pile. My tuchus did not appreciate it. This story did not end how I expected it to. I got a surprise finger shoved up my butthole while trying to take a crap. I was taken to the off of vomiting up blood while puking while I had the flu. I already felt like I was going to die from being so sick and feverish and dry heaving constantly. The doc said he needed to check my stool for blood and told me to roll onto my side. When the doctor asked if I was ready, I said yes and tried to poop. Instead of taking a crap I got a finger shoved up my butt. I thought they wanted me to crap in a cup or something so they could do a visual inspection. It turns out that they check by putting on a glove and fingering your butthole and checking the glove for blood. First time I had to have a prostate exam. I had dropped my pants and was leaning over the exam table. I was nervous and told the doctor I had never had one before. He said there's no time like the first time and rammed his finger up my butt while laughing. Apparently eating a whole box of tomatoes turns your poop to pure acid. I wasn't allowed to eat tomatoes for a few days after that. 1. I told him my rules were to wear a condom and not put it in my butt. He took the condom off and put it in my butt without warning or lube. He was instantly slapped and retreated. 2. Underestimated a spicy fart while at work. I got paddled by the assistant principal in the 6th grade for skipping detention. That crap hurt. I had a welt for days. In public school in the 70s, corporal punishment was legal in just about every state. They still did it when in my high school when I graduated in 2012. <laughs> Genital warts and the exit shoot that I got from a one night stand. I had to have them surgically removed. It was horrible. Vinegar would have been cheaper. <laughs> Not me personally. I was once a teenager, happily gaming on my computer in the basement. My mom was in the upstairs living room and my stepdad was doing some plaster in that same room. Suddenly, I hear a loud bang followed by a cry of ooh ow, 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 get it out, get it out, oh 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 uh followed by some swearing. I head upstairs to see what the heck is going on, and I find a broken chair. My mom curled up on the floor laughing and some painful moans from the second floor bathroom. My stepfather had climbed on a wooden chair to reach a higher part of the wall and, him being a heavier guy, the chair decided it would have none of that, and one of its legs just snapped. My stepdad fell and somehow impaled his butthole on one of the decorative poles at the top of the backrest. That thing went in dry a solid 5 or 6 inches, bringing his boxes all the way in for a sodomy wedgie double wommo. My mom had to pull the boxes out of his butthole as he was dancing on his tippy toes around the living room from the pain. He has yet to live this down. TL. DR. My stepdad had his first gay experience with a chair. He was catching. Million to one shot. Doc. I used to mountain bike a lot so I got hemorrhoids one time. For weeks it was killing then one day it burst when I was wearing shorts. Like a super excruciating pain for 10 seconds then nothing. I also used an antibacterial wipe to clean up and by frick that hurt quite a bit. Raise your seat and adjust it back on the rails if you can. I used to hold my crap a lot. Like, I just hated taking a crap in public. Anyway, this continued on into my adult life. And one day at work, I had been holding my crap for a very long time it seemed. Well, terrible cramps broke me, and I just gave in. I'll spare you some details of the pushing and breathing. But I basically passed a baseball sized and shaped turd. There was much pain, and a lot of bleeding. After that, I took a small amount of Miralax daily in the morning, and stopped fighting the urge to hold in my crap. This is so bad. I had the same problem when I was a kid but was pretty much forced to grow out of it because the doctor said that my intestines could tear and I could die if I don't poo when I need to. Now no matter where I am, if I have to poo and there is a bathroom, I'm going. I was at work for all of 2 hours when a massive hemorrhoid ruptured and started bleeding into my pants. I rushed out of work but wasn't shy about what happened. All my co-workers were asking me where I was going as I was leaving and I just shouted my butthole exploded. I don't recommend exploded butthole. Exploded. Pilonidal cyst. Background. It was hurting to sit for a few days and I thought I had something wrong with my tailbone. Bent over in the mirror and there was a huge cyst in my butt crack. 
against advice of going to the doctor, I ended up popping it instead of draining it and it was a disgusting yellow red pus mix. Satan would have cringed at the smell too, but everything was fine after a few days. I've had these cysts twice, and they're so painful. Ended up in the emergency department both times. Luckily, I haven't had one in about 20 years. Had a tequila bottle in my back pocket and fell on it. I needed two stitches because I was so drunk that normal bandages weren't working. Fell on it. Not my exit shoot, but I was feeling a pain on my backside. Kinda by my tailbone. As days went on the pain grew worse and before long, I could barely walk. Doctor thought I had pulled a muscle and prescribed some relaxers and that I should apply heat. Took my pill and almost immediately fell asleep. I woke up and wasn't in the excruciating pain I had recently grown used to. Something didn't feel right though. Went to the bathroom to find blood pus in my boxes. Got a ride to the hospital to find out I had a pulonidal cyst. So I am in the air at like 4am laying face down so a bunch of people can clean stitch up my butt. 1 stroke 10 I don't recommend pulonidal cysts. Green curry with seafood in Thailand. I've repressed most of those memories but there's a little yellow post-it in my mind that says never again. 10 Yomi slid across an old park bench in front of Kmart. Probably excited about a new X-Men action figure or some crap. And got an 8-ish inch splinter that pierced the top layer of one cheek and went into the other. Wasn't deep enough for a doctor visit. But I remember mom pulling it out in the bathroom going oh my god. Oh my god Rick. Get the band-aids. I had a similar experience. Probably 8 years old or so sliding on the built-in patio bench. Was told they had multiple nurses holding me down when they pulled it out. Not sure why. But I have a small blue dot there to this day. One pound of sugar free gummy bears in one sitting. 12 whole hours almost non-stop projectile crapping. I craped my pants twice. Once from stretching and once from farting. By the end my fesses was the same consistency as my urine. I was squirting it out of butt. By hour 3 my butthole was so sensitive that I couldn't even use the extra sensitive newborn wet wipes, which I had in the house. I had to jump in the shower abs gently sprinkle water onto my butthole to clean it after every poop. I couldn't sleep until 6am the next day because there were longer intervals between poops. It took 2 weeks for my butthole to heal completely. To make matters worse. I'm gay. I think you can imagine what that did to my private life. My now husband couldn't stop laughing at me and still laughs when something reminds him of my stupidity. TL. DR. The rumors are true. Don't eat sugar free gummy bears. I've read this online a hundred times but for some reason I still want to try it. I was 17 and had gotten my wisdom teeth removed. I was prescribed Percocet for the pain. I was pretty fricked up for about 3 days and finally I felt more like myself and not high as frick 24 hours a day. I was still taking the Percocet but not as much and often. But I realized that I had not pooped since the night before my surgery. One thing about me is that my poop is like clockwork. 2 times before noon, 1 sometime in the afternoon, and 1 in the evening. I can easily go 4-5 times a day. I've always been like this. I've never been constipated before or ever had any kind of troubles pooping. But by day 3 my body felt like a brick. I could feel that something was not right. There was a disturbance in the force. We went to Walmart and got milk of magnesium. I took the suggested dose. 1-2 hours later nothing. My anxiety was through the roof. My body aching for that sweet mind's numbing relief. I went and grabbed the bottle and took two big gulps. That should do it. My brother, his friend, my dad, and I were all sitting in the couch watching a movie. My mind was racing the whole time wondering when it was finally going to happen. Then it hit me. It was like a 10 car accident on the freeway. All so sudden and so so, so ugly. I ran to the bathroom basically clutching my stomach and clenching my butt. Finally my cheeks hit the smooth cold seat of the toilet and that was it. World War LLL. The shot heard around the world. The second coming. And frick it came and came and came. I sat on that toilet for an hour and a half. And the pain was indescribable. I have never felt anything more uncomfortable and unnerving than that episode. My poor butthole did nothing to deserve what it went through. It hurt for a few days after that too. But after everything the body high I felt was amazing. Everything was right in the world again. The sweet sweet relief. 
It was like the mechanics in my brain was back on track. I because of that I always joke with my GF and say that pooping keeps me sane because the unnerving feeling I had from not pooping for only 3 days was insane. I've heard horror stories of people going 1, 2 weeks without pooping and honestly I dk how I would be able to go through that when my experience from just 3 days was 6 horrible. My first fling in collage. We were drunk. He was big and didn't know what he was doing. There was a surprising amount of blood in the shower the next day, and I managed to pick up a scar that's kept exit shoot adventure from ever being comfortable again. More than the normal amount of shower blood. I went on a trip to NYC from Canada with friends a few years ago, a 10 hours travel by bus from our city. We stood there for 5 days. After the long travel I started to feel itches in my butt because I sat for too long in the bus. Hemorrhoids. Didn't care about it at all. I've made the mistake to not bring an hemorrhoid cream with me though. In NYC, we used to eat at fast foods pizzeria sandwiches every day, at every meal, because restaurants were too expensive for us. I'm not used to eating so much junk food within few days. Meanwhile, the hemorrhoids stood there and became more bothering. On the last day I felt sick, cold fever, so I told my friends I wanted to rest a bit. They went outside for visiting Central Park. At some point I needed to take a crap. So I went to the bathroom, and that's when my butt started to bleed like heck. Couldn't really do anything except putting toilet paper in my pad for the rest of the day until we got back home. I've been to the clinic after that, and the doc told me there was a small blood clot. She said I can apply a special cream to see if it resorbs by itself. If it doesn't I'd need a surgery. Fortunately, the cream solution worked and after a few days my butt was saved. Conclusion. Sitting for too long, and eating too much junk food is a pain in the butt. TL. DR. Went to NYC for a trip, got hemorrhoids, no cream for healing it, and got a painful blood clot in the butt. I, at some point in my childhood, had broken a glass cup in my room. I did not tell anyone because I was scared of getting in trouble. And besides, only the edges of glass cut, not the flat top surfaces that you step on, so I can deal with it if I'm careful and don't drag my feet. Flash forward an hour or so and I'm bored, in my room, sitting on the floor, glass forgotten about, a toy I want to play with rests about 1.5 inches out of my reach, I slide my butt over to play with it, screams, fountains of blood, a very bumpy and painful drive to the hospital and 16 sticks followed shortly after. To this day I still have an approximately 4 inch scar on my left butt cheek. Sigh. I had rode back doors with no lube, and then I bled a bit, and then the bleeding triggered my vesovical syncope, and I passed out, and he called an ambulance, and since Salem does first response, a fire truck also showed up, and the firemen were laughing Althir asses off at the situation, and then the ambulance guys made me wear a big bandage diaper. Just the freaking worst. 1. I am frankly shocked at the lack of bad exit shoot stories. 2. Pretty sure yours is one of the worst that wasn't life threateningly nasty, but yikes that's still pretty bad. I got really bad diarrhea at soccer practice and after taking a dump in the woods I wiped myself with some poison ivy leaves. I have chronic constipation issues, IBC, and it's even worse when I am pregnant. The worst thing to ever happen to my butt was that I had this monster clump of little rabbit poops that had fused together over weeks of trying to take stool softeners to get things to come out easier. I was battling this poop for seriously about 20 minutes or so, sweating, hanging onto stuff, pushing until I thought I was going to burst blood vessel in my face. Definitely gave me hemorrhoids as a result. Got this thing like, partly out, partly stuck. My butthole is screaming. My whole body is shaking at the uncomfortableness that was happening. Finally, I had no choice. I reach down there and start digging the poop out with my fingers. I can't believe my life has come to this. I'm getting chunks out, then trying to push again. Getting a little more out, having to dig a little more out. Finally, this giant clog of a poop comes out. My whole butthole is burning and bleeding. This thing is like a baseball in girth. Hemorrhoids to this day. Don't ever mess with your butt. Guys, if you are backed up even a few days, two or three, start taking stool softeners and do a laxative before it's too late and believe me, you are not too cool for an enema if you need it. Back in the 4th grade, 
We just had a nice snowfall so my friends and I wanted to go sliding on the hill behind our neighborhood. We were having a blast, sliding and running back up. It was my turn again so I went flying down. I hit a bump and launched into the air a bit, and landed pretty hard on my butt without my sled, onto a small tree stump. Fast forward about 10 minutes and all I wanted to do was sit down in the snow. My friends were like dude come on, why are you stopping? I said my stomach hurt and I didn't feel well, and I walked home. When I got home mom came to the door and asked what was wrong. I guess I looked a bit pale and sick at this point, and she was a nurse so she could tell something was up. I said I hit my butt sliding and my stomach felt weird. She told me to drop my eye drawl so she could see. My underwear was full of blood. I had torn my bung piece on the tree stump. A hospital trip, 25 stitches and a sweet stuffed animal gorilla later and my butthole was on the mend. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.